Thank you for your time. Where are you guys from? Belgium. 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 Europe. Uh, yes. Is it Brussels? Uh, close to Brussels. Close to yeah. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, are you guys here as a tourist? Yes. Yeah. Mm. And how long uh, do you have in Japan? How long are you going to Until stay? Until 17 of February. Yeah. From the 2nd of February to 17. Oh, okay. Yeah. So two weeks. Two weeks. Yeah. Ah, that's nice. How, how do you like it so far? Amazing. Very so nice. Far. Today is our first day in Osaka. Uh huh. We were in Tokyo. Oh, okay. And, uh, yeah, it's very different already. Hmm. Yeah. Um, uh, have you like uh, encountered something like uh, uh, some like event or anything that surprised you or interests you? Any subtle thing is okay, but do you have uh, such a moment? And... Yeah, a lot of times, uh -huh. uh, like Japanese people are very expressive of their hobbies, like uh, arcades or like uh, dancing, uh -huh. stuff like that is. Uh, surprising to us but oh. it's really nice yeah we really saw cool. a lot of uh, people dancing on the streets like practicing dance uh -huh, uh -huh. that's something you don't see in Belgium and we were admiring how they share their passion for it uh -huh. openly with their friends oh. and that was interesting to us yeah. oh, really? and also in the arcades they're very good <laughs> at like the piano games <laughs> piano games fast Rhythm game. Was, yeah, the was, oh, impressive. the drum game yeah, yeah, and yeah. the yes. oh, yes. have, did you play? Yes, we played. but we're, we're super. <laughs> <laughs> it's very difficult. Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like in Japan, there are some people are really good at those. Yeah, really focused, <laughs> yeah, yeah. like determined. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yeah. And then there, uh, there was an uh, like uh, audience or something, right? Yeah. Some people so, are watching. Some people watch, yeah. Yeah, 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 exactly. Mm. We were admiring <laughs> as well. Uh, okay. And uh, wh what was your like, motivation, or what? Uh, why did you uh, decide to go to Japan? Uh, for me, I just like the culture, but I also watch anime a lot as a kid. Mm. So for me, it was that. Yeah. Yeah, I also think Japan is a very pretty country, very beautiful, very diverse. And yeah, it, it, it was mainly you that really wanted to come, so <laughs> then we decided to go together. Uh, so it, it's really popular, the, the subculture, yeah. the Japanese yeah, yeah. subculture yeah. in, in yeah. Belgium. In the West, it's also quite popular. Yeah, animes. Yeah, mm. What kind of animes did you see? It's mainly you. <laughs> <laughs> One Piece, like the the usual or like the seasonal animes that come up. Mm -hmm. But okay. when I was young, I already started watching One Piece. Oh, yeah. You you too? Like I sometimes watch sometimes. Uh, animes with him, but uh, I'm less into it. Then, mm. <laughs> yeah. Then what what uh, are you interested in most uh, uh, about the Japanese? About Japan? uh -huh. uh, also the nature. Oh. I think it's like. When you go here to the castle, you can see the mountains and the uh -huh. trees. And tomorrow we were planning to visit like a park. Mino Park. Yeah, Mino Park. Oh, Mino. Uh, so mm. that um, food. Food. <laughs> very <laughs> important. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah. we've, we've been very excited for the food uh, and just like to experience because it's very different to what we're used to. So yeah, that's what uh. I do. Experience. <laughs> experience. Yeah. Just being in Japan yeah, is uh, quite. Yeah. Uh, yeah, exactly. And just it's like futuresque for us sometimes. Sometimes uh, we see things and we're like, whoa, that's so smart. <laughs> what yeah, do we the know? Toilets. That? <laughs> the toilets are very different. Here. Yeah, like yeah. public toilets here are so clean and neat. Uh -huh. That's something that's not always the case in Belgium. Yeah. And mm. yeah, just people are like, they keep it clean for others as well. Like they, they more respect to the common area. Oh, I yeah. see. I see. Yeah. And we saw something else in the metro station. There was like this thing where you could place umbrellas or something. Sharing you umbrellas. Could share umbrellas. Oh, oh like, I oh, see. Oh, that's so smart. Yeah, they don't, we don't have that. We don't have that. Uh -huh. and other stuff like that that amazes us. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah, some, sometimes you, you forget to bring your yeah. own umbrella that you can take it. And you can bring it back if you want. Yeah. 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 So smart. <laughs> Very, yeah. Yeah. yeah, it was in uh, like a subway station. Yeah, yeah. yeah it was in Tokyo. Yeah. Uh, so you are enjoying the Japanese food, you say. Yeah. Uh, uh, what kind of uh, like what food? Or what did you eat? Or what uh, did you like? So so far we had uh, Japanese curry mm. and then ramen. 
gyudon today? Gyudon? Yeah, omurais. Omurais. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Omurais. <laughs> Yes, that was also really nice. Yeah. So far we've had that. Yeah, but we're not we have not been here for so long, so mm. that's, we want that's to all we tried. And, and uh, sushi, we the octopus. Takoyaki. 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 Uh, did you awesome. eat that? Yeah. Yes. Uh, Very good. Is this uh, uh, popular to eat uh, octopus in your country? Uh, we have it as well. Octopus, yeah. But yeah. takoyaki is very hard to find. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it's not. Like ramen noodles and that type of dish is more popular. Popular. But the rice is also hard. Yeah, we tried it. it yeah. Nice. Did you, can you find those in your country? No. Omurais? No. Oh. Okay. No, yeah. no comment. No comment. <laughs> I didn't even know it existed. Uh, <laughs> so oh, okay. I tried it yesterday. <laughs> okay. The, what kind of food was new to you so far? Yeah, that dish. Uh -huh. uh, and the rest I have eaten. Well. eaten but it's just less good. You know? mm -hmm. <laughs> Here it's like richer in flavor. Right, right. And the rice is better. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You okay. can taste the difference. Uh, the gyudon. Is, is new. I, I've never had it before. Oh really? Yeah. Mm, beef ball. Yeah, right. it's not common. No, they don't really have that in those mm. uh, or Europe. Yeah. Okay, so the after here, yeah. uh, where are you guys going? Uh, where so we'll heading? be in huh? Osaka a few days still, uh, and then Tokyo as well. Yeah, we're just gonna go back to Tokyo. Yeah. Just the, these two places. Yeah. Oh, Maybe yeah. visit Kyoto, but we're Stop. not sure. Yeah. Oh. So mainly those Yeah, we two. don't have that much time, so we wanted to do two places thoroughly instead mm -hmm. of like many places, uh, but just a day. So. Uh, you want to dig in deeper <laughs> yeah. into yeah. it. Is there any idea or do, do you have a specific uh, like a thing you want to see in Tokyo or here? Or? Yeah, we looked stuff up beforehand, mm -hmm. uh, so restaurants, also like cultural places. But we have not like planned out day per day so oh, right. once we're here we just see like okay what yeah, will we do wanted. today and then we look at the stuff we wrote down but sometimes mm. we encounter other things so yeah we see okay. what the day brings so so far you uh, picked a couple of like uh, restaurants and the place yeah, yeah. Oh. but it's yeah. just like whatever we see we walk and then if it looks good we just go yeah. Walk yeah. Around, yeah exactly yeah, mm. yeah. And is there uh, uh, is there any like a Japanese thing you want to uh, bring back to your home country? Uh, snacks, you know? snacks. <laughs> oh yeah, Japanese snacks. Ah, yeah. yeah. uh, what kind? Yes, Did... my my brother is expecting <laughs> so me to bring snacks back from him <laughs> for oh. him as a souvenir. <laughs> is that popular? Well now? Uh, yeah, we have like Asian stores, but it's mixed in Belgium like yeah. and there uh, is also I, Japanese snacks mm. but not not as much, not as much obviously. Uh, so yeah some of the things we recognize from home we've tried already but other things are new and mm. yeah, what kind of snack what do you know specifically uh, 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 many know there's the dried fruits like dried oh, like yeah. kaki, persimmon mm. or um, just chips and Chew. other uh -huh. there's yeah. many like and the like corn seaweed snacks, snacks. Yeah. Yeah. seaweed snacks yeah. 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 Ah. So dried plums as well those are oh, also dried nice. plums ah. yeah. you can't really find them that much in Belgium Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Um, thank you so much for no your problem. time. Thank you for your time. Where are you from? We're originally from Germany. From Germany? Yes. Okay, so you said originally, then you're living in different places? Or? Uh, we've been traveling for the past two years. Oh, so it's we've a... been living in the US, in uh -huh. Australia, in New Zealand, uh -huh. and traveled the last wow. four months through. Uh -huh. oh, majority of the last four months through Central America. Oh, really? Yeah. And then in Japan, how many days or how many months do you have? Unfortunately, just like a week, a little bit more than a week, uh -huh. um, because we use it as a kind of a layover to head to Southeast Asia. Uh -huh. So uh, you just got here then? So it's um, like a two, we two arrived days, in Osaka right? yesterday, yes, uh -huh. oh. and uh -huh. before we went to Tokyo. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So, okay. Then, did you already feel the difference between uh, like other uh, countries yes. and the, here in Japan? Very much so. Yeah. Uh -huh. We loved how organized everything is, uh -huh. how clean, especially in comparison to like Central America. Uh -huh. um, definitely, the temperature is a huge difference for us. Uh -huh. oh, uh, okay. The last four months, we had like 
30 degrees every day at least <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh. but uh, probably our most favorite thing is the food so far like oh. we have not had anything that was not delicious and it didn't matter from breakfast to dinner ramen sushi or uh -huh. anywhere we went mm. but it's, so so far uh, you have spent just a few days a few days yes yeah. unfortunately uh -huh. And what did you uh, eat then uh, in um, that short period? In that short period, uh -huh. we tried to... I'm probably messing up some names here. Uh, it's but okay. uh, some ramen places. Mm -hmm. uh, one Shiba... Uh, Shibara, something like that, uh -huh. in Tokyo, which was delicious. Uh -huh. um, we had okon, okonomiyaki, okonomiyaki uh -huh. for lunch today, which uh -huh. was great. Mm. And uh, overall, like the, the sushi quality, anywhere we went, uh -huh. if it was just like from a 7 Eleven or like a convenience store, uh -huh. was so much better than anywhere outside of oh, uh, Japan. I see. Uh, is there any like a new food for you? Like you haven't eaten in other countries? Like um, for me personally, not uh -huh. so far. Uh -huh. uh, I know that my partner, uh, when we went for lunch today, that was her first time. Uh -huh. Like Japanese pancakes. Uh -huh. um, I've tried some in Sydney before, which are really great. Um, the pancakes. Yeah. Uh, the other one, Mo Modoyaki. Uh, Modan yaki. Modan yaki. Yeah, it's a Modan. modern. Yeah, we we call it modern yaki. I don't know uh, why, yeah. but it, you put some noodles, right? Yes, with noodles. Yeah. Uh, did you like it? <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. So you've been traveling around, and especially from the warm area yeah <laughs> so you have to, you brought your like a clothes and stuff like a... this is basically everything warm i currently own <laughs> uh -huh. so you you carry around those, yes so we're traveling with a backpack uh -huh. like 23 kilograms mm -hmm. um and most of our clothes are more for like warmer climates uh -huh. beach weather diving right, right. t-shirts shorts uh -huh. and bathing suits uh-huh so you, 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 you don't use much those that currently you no not that much I only have one pair of long jeans uh -huh. uh, two hoodies now I bought one in Tokyo because it was so cold right, right. and a, a thin jacket mm -hmm. but okay. better than nothing okay <laughs> so after Japan where are you heading to then uh, we're gonna be celebrating Chinese New Year in uh -huh. Vietnam Oh, in next Vietnam. week uh, mm -hmm. with my brother actually yeah mm, okay and so how how many years or how many months are, are you going to have in the future in the future yeah the traveling um, we have a couple of weddings from friends and family that we do want to attend um, uh -huh. this summer back in Germany uh -huh. so we're gonna be heading back in like four months unfortunately oh, okay. uh, so I, I, I saw you have a, a camera. nice camera. Yeah. <laughs> so are you a, a photographer too? Yes, I'm an architectural and landscape photographer. Uh, then uh, I want to ask, where did you go in South America or the American co continent? So um, which country? And we started in Mexico, mm -hmm. in the peninsula of Yucatan, Yuc oh. and then traveled through like Mexico, the Canal Loop to Mexico City, then mm -hmm. back down Oaxaca uh -huh. and to Belize. Uh -huh. uh, Honduras, uh -huh. El Salvador, uh, Nicaragua, uh -huh. and then Costa Rica and Panama. Oh, the, each country, the, yes. <laughs> every country. Almost every country. Almost, uh -huh. we, we skipped Guatemala for oh. some um, political uh -huh. oh, really? reasons they had at the time. Uh -huh. There's a conflict or something? There's already? some conflicts and protests going on. Yeah. Which are like roadblocks. It just uh -huh. made it very hard to travel yeah. around the time we wanted to go. Mm -hmm. So we decided to come back for Guatemala at some point, bring mm -hmm. a little bit more time and mm -hmm. enjoy it properly. Uh, did you enjoy coffee around that area, or do you? Do I personally you... don't drink, drink coffee too much. Oh, I, I enjoy coffee very much, uh -huh. but I get like headaches, unfortunately. Uh -huh. um, we tried some coffees uh -huh. in El Salvador. In Nicaragua, uh -huh. and did a fantastic uh, like coffee plantation tour in 
Costa Rica, mm. which is very nice and very interesting to learn a little bit more. Yeah, because I heard uh, that around that area is yeah. a, the coffee, like a, I don't know, coffee country or? They, they are very coffee heavy. heavy. They have great plantations and mm. fantastic uh, tasting coffees. I personally uh, and more in favor of like whiskeys, gins, um, oh. and liquors. Uh -huh. um, I've tried a few, and I very much do love like Japanese whiskeys. Uh -huh. I unfortunately have not had a chance to try as many as some others, like Scotch or American uh -huh. whiskeys. But uh, I can definitely. Uh, so have you tried Japanese? Yes. Oh, very okay. very nice ones. Yeah. You like it? Yeah. Uh -huh. They're very hard to get in Europe. Uh -huh. um, there's only like just a few like four or five different brands that are actually available mm. so coming here has been very interesting to explore a few different ones oh, so you want to, to bring back those uh, to your I wish I could I wish I could <laughs> but <laughs> no space in your backpack here. exactly I bought one bottle to uh, enjoy next week with my brother uh -huh. uh, I haven't tried it yet we're gonna try it together um, but other than that we're traveling so long uh -huh. um, we don't have the space or the weight possibilities to carry right, <laughs> right, that right, around, right. unfortunately. Oh, okay. And in Japan, uh, uh, where, uh, which area are you going to travel? Um, we've split since we wanted to visit Japan, but only uh -huh. at like a limited time of a layover uh -huh. kind of situation. Uh -huh. um, we decided to do four days uh, Tokyo and mm -hmm. four days Osaka. Mm. So, these two main cultural mm. centers of Japan mm. to get a little bit of the inside, and we're already very, very enthusiastic and addicted to come back uh, rather sooner than later and explore uh, far more. Deeper. Deeper, yes. Yeah. Go outside of the city, uh -huh. maybe do a road trip or something, get mm. to see a little bit more of the countryside, some coastlines maybe, and some islands potentially, and just mm. get out of the bigger touristy areas uh -huh. with more time. Oh, okay. And uh, what kind of you know, Japanese thing, uh, the tangible or intangible thing, uh, you would like to bring back to your... Bring back? Yeah, take take and then bring back to your <laughs> yeah, home country, if you could, you know. If don't, could. don't think about the backpack size or, yeah, possible, impossible, it's okay. But, to carry? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Probably... My partner would very much love to bring back matcha, um, but from like a cultural perspective, uh -huh. I do think uh, the organization and the respect people show to one, one another uh -huh. is very, very high here and something that we definitely want to carry with us to bring back and bring to other countries and live uh -huh. and not just uh, witness. Thank you. Uh, thank you for saying that. <laughs> I'm so yeah, proud of, of ourselves to hear that. Okay, well, thank you so much uh, thank for you. your time. Thank you for your time. Where are you from? Australia. Brisbane. Brisbane, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, is this your first time in Japan? Um, no. my, my second time. Second time. I've been in here a few times, yeah. Oh, cool. And uh, now you're uh, here as a traveler, I mean a tourist? Mm -hmm. or, mm. Yeah. Okay, uh, where have you been so far? Like, this trip we've just been here in Osaka, and okay. then tomorrow we're going to Kyoto. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. And then we go to Hakuba and Tokyo. Oh, you're going to? Mm -hmm. Yes. Ah, yes. okay. Then uh, where did you go at the, like in the past? Um, um, I've been a few times to Sapporo. Oh, mm -hmm. so for. Travel. Uh, to yeah. travel? Yeah. Oh, okay. And you too? Or? Um, I've yeah, been to Osaka before and also to Tokyo. Oh. How do you like it? Like, uh, Love it. It's great. Uh, yeah. In what kind of things do you like? I think a like? big yeah. part of the reason we love it is the food. Yeah. Um, also, it's very different here, I think. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think there's just a lot more people in general. So yeah. everything's like kind of packed in. And Oh. There's, I mean, convenience stores everywhere. There's food stores everywhere. There's just stores everywhere, and it's just like a totally different experience. It's right? not as populated. It's not mm. as busy. Mm. Um, I also think a difference is that it's so clean here. 
it's, it's not naturally, or like the cleaning is not done as well in Australia. Like there's often rubbish on the streets or on the footpath. Uh -huh. um, but here it seems to be always clean, basically. Oh, I see, I see. You feel the same way. <laughs> okay. What kind of the, the food uh, have you tried and like? Uh, here? Yeah. Well, I mean, we've had, ate quite a lot so far. <laughs> Sashimi, ramen, uh, gyoza, tonkatsu, udon. udon. What is your favorite thing? My favorite is ramen. Ramen? Yeah. 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 We had um, wagyu at Kobe uh -huh. yesterday. Oh. That was amazing. Oh, yeah. okay. Is it the yakiniku kind of style? Or, um, or it steak? Was a steak. steak. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. And uh, do you uh, have the kind of like a restaurant in, around your uh, neighborhood? Uh, mm, my neighborhood actually doesn't have any restaurants. You oh. have to go mm. to the next neighborhood over for a few. Okay. See, that's also a difference. Is here every neighborhood has like a 7-Eleven, a restaurant, a bar, mm. a cafe, and there's so many everywhere. But in our where we're from, there's like mostly residential neighborhoods. Mm. And if you yes. want food, you have to go close to the city. Oh, I see. Yeah. I see. And uh, when did you then uh, first contact to Japanese culture in your life? Uh, Probably yeah, Japanese we're... food, I uh, would say. Yeah. Uh, the first time a sushi restaurant opened in my town. Oh, uh, I yeah, see. I, had, I don't think I knew a lot about it before then. Um, and how about I didn't you? Say it, yeah. uh, okay. Then uh, in Japanese culture, uh, which kind of aspect uh, are you most interested in? Um, I mean, obviously, the food is a big part that oh, we're interested in. We love the Japanese food, but mm. I think also like kind of your manners and mm. the way you treat others. I think is interesting. I see. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Like culture of respect, or right. I was reading that because um, we were looking up if it's legal to cross the street when the light is not green. Oh. Um, and they were saying that in Japan. Um, the reason everyone stays is because if children are there, you want to set a good example for the children. <laughs> exactly. And yeah. like that, I think that's just slightly different to at home. There's not oh. this sense of like looking after uh, mm -hmm. the young children like that. I don't know. I thought it was nice. Yeah. Oh, okay. And did uh, did you go inside of the castle? No, we're on the no. way. Yeah. Oh, you're on the way. Ah, okay. Uh, it this is very interesting. The yeah. castle, isn't it? Because uh, this is the the third generation. Ah. The building, yeah. but uh, the originally like it was around this area, oh. it and it burned out, and then the next generation was built here, mm -hmm. in the next. But it's oh. also built uh, burned down. <laughs> but uh, one. yeah, but the, this this one, uh, the base is the the second generation. Okay. Ah. But uh, on the top, the the tower part is the, from the old one. So it's kind of combination. It is also the concrete, so it's not the or original it down. timber. Yeah. Why did it burn down? The shogun. Mm -hmm. the, some uh, people didn't like the the, ah. the shogun, right? So, so they, some people burned it down. Yeah, that the people yeah. and, and at the fight, mm -hmm. uh, the battle. So they always try to, uh, you know, the conquer sure. the, the, the Japan. So uh, then. What kind of like in uh, Japanese thing would you like to like bring back to your country or neighborhood? I would bring the convenience back. Convenience. <laughs> uh, we have Seven Eleven, but it's not the same. I see. I see. You think the, the yeah. same way? Yeah, that's so good. And uh, would you like to uh, come back and uh, want to travel? Like more south or yeah, definitely. Yeah, I'd love to explore more. Especially, I was saying just before, like maybe a bit less popular spots. Like um, yeah, we talked about towns. renting a car or like a van and driving. Uh -huh. I think uh -huh. it'd be nice to do some more of the rural areas, like the yeah, yeah, a little bit further from the city would be nice. Because the, you drive the same size, yeah. the roads probably yeah. <laughs> a little bit easier. It's easy, but the size is pretty different from your country. Yeah, I I don't know how. I mean, it might be a challenge still, yeah, yeah, driving, but I think it would be really cool to see things that way. Yeah, of course the language is different, but uh, yes. the, the pictogram or whatever, yeah. the mark, yeah, I think it is probably the same. Yeah. yeah, okay. And uh, is there any, like, a 
uh, advice or comment for those who are watching the, the video and maybe want to come or like hesitating like uh, the viewers mm -hmm. uh, yeah you should come yeah as, i think especially if, if you love japanese food or mm -hmm. any of the culture i think you should definitely come yeah 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 and i would say that um one of the mind-boggling things is how big japan is so wherever you go you'll be able to find something that you enjoy like mm -hmm. every suburb has something for everybody there's food areas there's anime areas or there's like mm -hmm. um yeah theme parks whatever okay. people are interested in i think you'll find it because the city is so big and, mm -hmm. yeah uh yeah okay well thank you so much for your time no it's nice talking you. about